Many documentaries about World War II focus on the battles, the politics, the aircraft, the ships, the tanks, but only a few focus on what the average foot soldier carried, their firearms. Throughout history, firearms have evolved from basically handheld cannons, to muskets, for home defense, to fully automatic rifles, but today we focus on firearms that the everyday soldier carried and how they differed from country to country. In the United States, the military issued the Model 1903 Springfield Rifle and the Model 1917 Enfield Rifle, which were both bolt actions used in World War I, firing 30-06 Springfield, and the new M1 Garand Rifle, a gas-powered blowback semi-auto rifle with an 8-round clip that made the iconic ping noise you see in movies and video games. This technology was previously seen in pistols from the late 19th century, but has now been used in the M1 Garen to improve fire rate over bolt action rifles. Shaper in .30-aught caliber and clocking in at 9.5 pounds, it made for a hefty rifle that hit hard. One of the most widely known sidearms issued by the United States military during World War II was the Colt Model 1911. This seven-round short recoil operated semi-auto pistol made by Colt was chambered in 45 ACP. Made for a great sidearm and is even used today, a whole century later. It was effective in combat and proved to be a favorite sidearm by the soldiers using it. They also issued many double action revolvers made by Colt and Smith and Wesson, but the Colt 1911 was favored over it. There were multiple submachine guns used by the USA in World War II, but some of the most famous were the M1 Thompson and the M1A1, also known as the Grease Gun. The M1 is a blowback submachine gun that also was chambered in 45 ACP. This typically used box magazines holding to 20 to 30 rounds, but on occasion they used drum magazines that held 50 to 100 rounds, but they were expensive to manufacture, which led to less being produced than other machine guns. The replacement for this was the M1A1 submachine gun. This was an open bolt blowback made with stamped sheet metal to make it cheaper than a Thompson to manufacture and lighter to carry. It also used 30 round box magazines and was chambered in 45 ACP. There are a couple light machine guns that the Americans used, but one of the most notable of them was the Model 1918 Browning Automatic Rifle, or BAR for short. This bolty like machine gun was a gas operated rising bolt lock using 20 round detachable box magazines that used 30 6 Springfield. Now enough of the American firearms and onto the British armaments. The British rifle of choice for the soldiers and the home guard was the series of Lee Enfield rifles ranging from the Enfield Pattern 14 to the Lee Enfield No. 5 Mark 1 rifle. These are all bolt actions using the same ammunition of .303 caliber rounds and 5 round internal magazines. At the start of the war, the British used the American M1 Thompson submachine gun, but due to their high cost, the British put the Sten in the service. This was an open bolt blowback operated submachine gun that was lightweight and simple, basically a tube that shot bullets. It had a 20 round side loading magazine that was chambered in 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum. The main sidearm used by British troops was the Enfield No. 2 Mark I revolver, which was a top break revolver that could fire in single action, hammer primed, then trigger pulled, and double action, used the trigger to prime the hammer back and fire the round with one trigger pull. It had six shots because it's a revolver and fired .38 Smith & Wesson. The main light machine guns used by the British forces were the Bren and Lewis gun. The Bren was a gas operated tilting bolt light machine gun that had a 30 round magazine and a bipod. It fired .303 British at a terrifying rate. Another light machine gun in use was the Lewis gun, also nicknamed the dinner plate gun. This was a gas-operated long-stroke gas piston rotating open bolt machine gun with an air-cooled barrel shroud that used muzzle blasts to draw cool air over the shroud. It used a pan magazine and held 47 to 97 rounds depending on what magazine you had. It used .303 British or .30-06. It saw frequent use during the Second World War. Another country fighting in the war was Russia. During World War II, there were only a couple rifles in service by the Red Army but the most well-known one was the Mosin Nagant Model 1891. This was a bolt-action rifle with a 5-round internal magazine chambered in 7.62 by 54mm rimmed, Russia's standard rifle caliber at the time. Even after half a century of being in service by the Red Army, it was still reliable and robust, making it a great rifle for most situations. From a sniper rifle to a battle rifle, it was very versatile. 
The main sidearms used in Russia's military were the Nagant. Why is this word so hard to say? <laughs> Nagant Model 1895 revolver and the Tokarev TT-33 semi-automatic pistol issued to officers. The Nagant Model 1895 revolver was a capable single-action, double-action revolver with a seven-round cylinder and shot 762 by 38 millimeter rimmed ammunition. The Tokarev TT-33 was a short recoil actuated locked breech semi-auto pistol that was issued to Russian officers. It had an 8 round magazine located in the grip of the handgun, firing 762 by 25 mm Tokarev. This was a powerful sidearm and is still used in small quantities today. There were a few submachine guns used by Russia throughout World War II. These include the PPSH-41 and the PPS-43, which replaced the PPSH-41. The PPSH was a selective fire open bolt. As I was saying, a blowback action magazine fed submachine gun made from stamped sheet metal. Using either box magazines that held 35 rounds or drum magazines that had a capacity of 71 rounds, it led to a large capacity submachine gun with a devastating rate of fire that used the powerful 762 by 25 mm Tokarev cartridge. It was the most widely used submachine gun in the Soviet Union, but due to its weight, it was eventually replaced by the PPS-43, a lighter, somewhat cheaper, requiring fewer man-hours to produce, but still keeping the accuracy and capacity of the PPS-H-41. It was still an open-fold blowback action submachine gun, but the major difference was that it had an underfolding stock instead of a fixed wooden stock. The main machine gun used by the Red Army was the DP-27, also known as the Record Player. This was a gas-operated flapper-locking light machine gun that used a pan magazine. The pan magazine had a capacity of 47 rounds holding 762 by 54 mm rimmed. It was used throughout the Russian front during the war, but eventually retired in the 1950s. The German army only had a few rifles used throughout the war, but the most issued one was the Carabiner 98K. The Car 98K was a bolt-action rifle that used 5-round tripper clips for its internal magazine. This infamous rifle was used by most of the German army, as it was reliable in almost any condition. It fired 792 by 54 mm Mauser, the standard rifle cartridge used by the German military at the time. In the German army, soldiers were issued the Luger P08 semi-automatic pistol. This infamous sidearm was semi-automatic toggle lock short recoil operated that held an 8 round detachable box magazine located in the grip. Chambered in 9 by 19 mm Parabellum, the Luger was sought after by many American troops to bring home as a trophy after the war. The submachine gun of choice used by German forces was the MP40. This was a straight blowback operated bolt submachine gun that was used heavily by German infantry. Firing 9 by 19 mm Parabellum at 500 rounds a minute, it was a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. It used 32 round detachable box magazines, though along with its high capacity, it was also lightweight because of its underfolding stock. The MP40 was a pea shooter compared to the MG42, which was the German military's medium machine gun of choice. This was a roller locked recoil operated air cooled general purpose medium machine gun that used 250 round belts of 792 by 57 mm Mauser. It had a high rate of fire of 1200 rounds a minute, which was devastating to anything that was in front of it. It was nicknamed Hitler's Bud Saw by American troops due to not being able to discern the sound of individual shots being fired, and instead it was described as the sound of a buzz saw. From pistols to light machine guns, there is a wide variety of firearms used by many countries during the Second World War. 